In this segment, I'm going to show you how to use your radio scanner to intercept data. Here's my uh, Bearcat BC700A scanner. What you're going to have to do is something called a discriminator mod. There's a chip inside here. If you remember my previous segment, there's a, there's a chip in here that'll basically discern between what is audio and what is static. What we need to do is we need to go and tap in before this filter chip called the discriminator and um, bring an, an external connection to the outside of the case. So I'm going to go and uh, give you an alternate view of what you have to do. Here's my scanner. I saved you the trouble of watching me unscrew boring screws, yippee, yippee skippy, and I take the cover off. Now there's a chip in here that's called the discriminator chip. Basically what it does is it's the actual audio filter that discerns static from, from actual radio signal. That chip is right here inside my unit. If you go on Google, I'll put this in the show notes, um, and you type in discriminator mod, you'll actually get a list of known discriminator chips and what pin you have to go and tie into. So I flip my unit over, and I soldered a wire onto the appropriate pin, and I soldered another wire to ground. Now you can use any kind of the RF shielding, you can use the negative wire on your power on your power input, or you can actually just use the, um, the shielding itself over here. I then drilled a hole inside the case and mounted a standard headphone jack. This is relatively simple. Of course, as you see, there's a lot of unpopulated space in here. If you're using a radio like my Pro 95, you're not going to have much room to do that. And of course, newer radios are going to have smaller outline chips, so you might want to go and open up your radio and check out the size of all the components inside and have some decent soldering skills. Although, if you saw episode 2 on, and you've been practicing your soldering, by now you should be more than adequate enough to do this mod. Now, to get the, the data to your computer, there's two ways of doing it. You can either hook a headphone jack or whatever connector you decide to use from here into your audio card and basically spit out the unfiltered, um, unedited raw audio to your sound card and use an audio uh, an application that uses that, that audio and processes it. Or what you can do is create a circuit that will plug into here and take the raw audio and turn it into actual binary data. I'm going to show you the method of hooking it into your audio card because it's relatively a no-brainer and it's relatively supported nowadays. So I'm going to go put my scanner back together and I'm going to show you the PC side. PDW is software used to decode pagers. You might think not, not too many people use pagers nowadays, but a lot of hospital, hospitals do. First thing you have to do is go to your interface and set up your audio properties. You have to select the recording controls and then select whether you're using microphone or line input. Once you, once you do that, you um, just have to adjust your audio levels to make sure you have a, a good audio input. Otherwise, you'll get corrupted data. From this point on, you just sit back and relax and wait for the data to come in. Now, this is where things get a little creepy because you can actually hear interference, you can hear data coming in. Now, like I said, you might not think too many people use pagers nowadays, but hospitals and lawyers use them quite often because they don't interfere with a lot of, a lot of uh, technology. And here we have pager data coming in. Um, a little bit about law. Um, it might be a crime in some states or countries to intercept certain forms of radio communications and decode them. I'm not sure you might want to go and check in on that. But I know for a fact in the United States of America, intercepting pagers is not, it does not constitute a crime. Now, you can also go and intercept mobile data terminals, trunking data, EDACs, and, and all that fun stuff. I'll actually put in um, some links to the show notes of different types of uh, data that you can actually listen to and intercept using just a sound card and a computer.